Is this working any better? I just deleted Streamlabs because it wouldn't switch off. This is working better. Okay, I was using Streamlabs. Hello. Um, morning, Sherry Arty, G, Rodders, Upton PK, Myth Tree, Accident Man, so Cheeky Rascal, good morning. So this is working better. Okay, well Streamlabs obviously uses more data. I mean, uh, so I've come out for a walk. Hello Mike, Fat Bass Dad, Accident Man, oh, oh. I was, uh, uh, I normally sit on a bench that's there, but someone's taken the bench. I was, I was heading for a bench and it's gone. Look at this view, man. Look at this view. Huh? Look at that. Morning, Richard, Rodders, Matty, Sherry RTC. David, Stu, the bench is gone. I was just gonna say, was it there or was it through here? Oh no, here it is, here it is. Here's the bench. That confused me. I'll show you checkers in a bit. We're just around the corner from checkers. This is some view, huh? Do I get my 10,000 steps in each day? No, I haven't done any exercise for ages, which is partly why I've come out here. Wow, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, Checkers is over there. I'll show you it in a bit. I don't think I need a cable to connect to the trees. I'm hoping I don't. I deleted Streamlabs. I didn't know you could stream from the Twitch app. So I was using Streamlabs, which I think uses a lot more bandwidth I'm gonna say oh my back is still hurting look I've got an old man drinking vessel man in shades wanders around and films checkers what could possibly go wrong um, yeah I thought we'd play some retro games today we're gonna to play tag hopscotch oh, look at me, I'm looking over to get in the thing um, I thought we'd come out today because I uh, I will hug a tree in a bit man I'll hug a tree don't you worry about that that's gonna happen I love hugging trees um, woke up with a bit of a headache uh, it was obviously a beautiful day and um, uh, I haven't done much exercise I'm getting fat and I don't like it and I know listen I'm not in any way fat shaming anybody apart from myself not telling anybody that you know I, I, I like I find fat people attractive um, but not in me not in me so I need to uh, I need to I need to do some more exercise so I'm, I'm not gonna walk that much I've got to come out and talk to you guys I've got a headache I've got to go home and mow the lawn um, feeling a little bit flat so when I feel a little bit flat uh, and I catch it in time hey pretty picture um, did you, uh, I bought an Xbox original today. Was it chipped badly recorded? I'm thinking of getting an Xbox original, but a chipped one. So you can play loads of old stuff. Um, isn't it funny? I was thinking we throw away all these, you know, a new console comes out and we throw the, away the last one. What we should do is you put the last one in the loft. Because in 10 years time, you'll want to play it again. Um, although I think the next generation of, of consoles is probably going to be the last one. Uh, Hursty says, I'm just back from a five mile walk in Hampshire countryside. Same as you, mid 40s, need to do something to energise myself. Well, keep the Amstrad in the loft rod, is there? They're not that good. Um, so I, I, I'm feeling a bit down. Not massively down, but um, I'm feeling a bit down. Uh, 
All right, what's, I don't know what coin ops is. Um, I'm worried about a couple of friends of mine. I'm worried about Dennis Le Corrier, the singer from Dr. Hook, because he's not well. And I'm really worried. Um, I'm, I, he's, he's ill, and I'm concerned that um, maybe he won't pull through. I don't know. I don't know that. He's not said that, but... Um, yeah, I'm worried about him, man, because he's a good man, and he's been very kind to me. I'm also worried... 25 quid with 10 games, beautiful. Is it easy to chip? I'm worried about Andy Partridge. Really worried about Andy Partridge. His online... tweets that were anti-Semitic. Um... Uh, 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 and the, the the backlash at that, but more importantly, I'm worried about his mental state because he's not he's going through a tough time. He's been physically ill. He's going through a tough personal time, and he's a bit of a mess apparently. So I'm concerned about that. I'm concerned about Danny Baker as well. Can be. Thanks very much. Let's name all the racists. Um, is this still working? Oh, good, good G. Well done. Good. I'm glad to hear it, man. Glad it's it's working. Um, I'm worried about the radio show because of the list, the, the low number of listeners that we have, and I know the show is more than listeners, and we've you know all the good things that we've done, but we are in an industry driven by numbers, and my numbers are lousy. Not the worst they've been since I've been there, but they're lousy. Here we go, David. Thank you. What are you thankful for and happy about? Boom. Thank you. Good question. I am thankful and happy that I'm getting my boys this weekend. And uh, hopefully the weather will be like this and we can sit and play uh, in the garden. We can get a fire going in the evening, cook some sausages, cook some marshmallows, and we can sit in the hammock. Boom. Give me, I'm going to give you two more things. I'm thankful and happy... Uh, for my, my three cats I love my cats and um, they are everything to me my babies and they uh, made me laugh a lot today when Lucky went and stole some of Velvet's food and then she just went over to Mucky and started licking her head so that was cool one more thing one more thing one more thing I'm happy and thankful for my old man drinking cup. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's one thing the boys have taught you about yourself. What is it? That I... I can be a good man. That despite all of my F-ups... Uh, hey, Woblob, thank you for the subscription. Thank you. It's got a spout. I agree, Chris. I agree. I agree. I can't believe it. What's in the bottle? Coffee. I need to cut down on my coffee. I need to cut down on my coffee and cut down on my food. Anyway, I don't want this to be... Oops, oopsie daisy. It's a crotch shot. No, that's not going to work. I don't want this to be a miserable stream. I want this to be... What's the best Rolling Stones album? I don't really like the Rolling Stones, mate. I don't really like the Rolling Stones. They're not my not my thing. Morning, Loz. So, um, no game streaming today. I said there would be, and there isn't. I might do some later on. We'll see. I need to. I'm gonna have a little wander around here. I'll show you checkers in a bit. It's around the other side. I'm on Coombe Hill, by the way. Coombe Hill. Uh, whoever gifted. Lino's got us. Lino was gifted a sub because Lino, a good friend of mine, was too tight to put his hand in his pocket. Um, in a dream snake, he was at work and the office manager wasn't there. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. This is where we are today. I don't know how much of that you can see. That's it. Are we going to go and spy on checkers in a minute? Did you know the original Xbox outputs in HD for some games? I think I did know that, yeah. Coombe Hill. 
I mean Coombe Hill on Coombe Hill ends uh, just around the, we're going to go we're going to go and look at checkers in a bit um, yeah you'd be welcome to so just a bit I mean a weird I mean a weird kind of plate my back is really hurting my foot is hurting I've done something to my foot so there's a little bit of physical um <laughs> no, you idiot. No, I'm not growing the beard back. I've just not had a shave. I want to let my skin get my skin's not great at the moment, so I want to let my skin get a little bit better and then have a shave when it's a bit longer, so I get a cleaner shave. That's the plan. Although I did have a dream that I had a beard last night. Um, Fat bastard is waiting for Yodel. Unlucky. Good luck. How many deliveries ahead of you? I don't know if the PM is in. I'm not going to make any jokey threats about you could get a sniper rifle from this position I'm going to take you to. You could, but I'm not going to make any jokes about that. It is, Dan. This is a nice place to come and reflect. When I was at my lowest, when I've been at my lowest the last few months, I've come and sat here and looked out and meditated. I haven't been to a chiropractor. I'm more of an osteopath kind of guy, but it's, it's, a, it's muscular. It's muscular. I need to stretch. What did you think about Bare Naked Ladies' fake nudes album? I liked it. I've, I've enjoyed their last few albums a lot. Um, La Mousse. La, La Mousse. We're just talking about Bare Naked Ladies. I like their last few albums a lot, but. Do you know what I mean? I like their last few albums a lot, but. Sitting amongst nature does help. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. When you dream about being at home, what home do you live in? Childhood first, a home now home I don't dream about any home I live in I dream about a new house I dream about a like, big house that I get lost in a body blade what the hell is a body blade the hell is a body blade hey Stuart Sleep John B says I know you like kids in the hall what's your thoughts on League of Gentlemen I only watched a, a, I think maybe I watched one or two um, and I, it, it, I mean, this is 20 years ago and it didn't really click with me, but I think I was busy, I think I was busy doing other things and it didn't really connect with me. So I kind of missed out on, on League of Gentlemen. Hey Stuart, good to see you man. Good to see ya. We still don't know what a body blade is. Um, anyway, back to the radio show. I just feel it's got. Did you like Inside Number Nine? Yes, I did like that actually. I've just, I've just lo lost my confidence a little bit for the radio. Just lost a little bit of confidence, and I'm, I'm tired. Could do with a couple of weeks off. I don't know, Rodders. When is your birthday? Oh, Loz! If you don't mind, that would be absolutely delightful. And drinks are on me that night, Loz. Depends how many of you. How many have you got? Drinks are on me. I'm the ninth of June, Rodders. Um, yeah, George last night was, uh, was weird. I, li I like it when, when it, um, something descends to really stupid, childish arguments. Makes me laugh. You're, what you just said was stupid. You're an idiot. You're stupid. You're a bellend. I like that a lot. When it, because it's supposed to be mature and grown up. And when it just resorts to name calling. I know I, I know you are, but what am I? Funny. I do need a good massage. If you're offering. Do I ever get asked on panel shows? No, I don't get asked on any TV shows anymore and I turn down panel shows because I hate them. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. With the new studio, are the old callers still welcome? Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. I'm kind of nervous about the new studio um, because when radio stations get taken over by a corporate entity, that normally spells the end of my time there. LBC, uh, Virgin and Absolute. Um, so I'm a bit nervous. Loz, I haven't helped you ever, Loz. Oh, Liz, uh, Loz, Liz, Loz, Loz, Liz. I, I'm, I'm going to buy you a drink. You're very kind. Thank you. A massage would be great. I could do with a massage. I can't see the green names. Nelly. Hey, Nelly. Who's your favourite caller to the late night alternative? Martin Sweetheart, 
and Farmer John. Thank you, Lucy. We're going to go and have a look at checkers in a bit. Should we, should we walk around and see checkers? I hope we don't lose the signal. If we lose the signal, stick around because I'll come back. Loz, it's a pleasure. We want to create a safe environment. And listen, I know I've not been the um, most morally upstanding of, of gentlemen. You know, and that's weighing heavy on me at the moment as well. But I'm doing my best to become a better person. I'm, I'm you know, I haven't indulged in any of that stuff for months and months and months. Talking to people, sharing stuff. I'm doing all the... I worked in the radio for a while here in Canada. It starts off amazing. By the end, it's just going through the motion. Burnout, burnout was common. Yeah, particularly with our show, Thalamus. Um, I don't know if you've listened to it. Uh, oh, Wade Robson and James Safe Chat, my absolute pleasure. Um, doing our kind of show where it is three hours of improvised theatre, I don't want to say comedy, three hours of improvised theatre every night. Uh, it's exhausting. You know, you do a, you do a magazine show, something like Matthew Wright's show, for example, or James's show. Now, I'm not saying that's not hard work and that's not tiring, but there is, there is structure to it, there is form. You know, if one thing isn't working in 15 minutes, you've got another guest. Oh, Nico. Nick. Nick O'Connell, I'm guessing that is. Uh, or Nico Connell, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the subscription. I uh, can't remember what I was saying. Here we go. Look at this view. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So this is Coombe Hill. It's great. It's a great place. There's a big old monument. Matty, Katie, Roger and Ollie. Ah, they're good people. They're all good people, Loz. They're all good people. Um, the interviews have been good. I need to sort out a few more, you know, kind of going out and, and doing things um, pieces. Because I like those. I like those. And maybe that's the direction we need to go in a little bit. You know, that kind of John Ronson, Louis Theroux thing. Um, acid! Thank you for the subscription. This monument is for you, Acid. This monument is for you. There was a one of those maps that tells you what you're looking at, but, but uh, the vandals took it. The vandals took it. Uh, Jake Schillingford hasn't been on yet. I need to get in touch with uh, him again. Um, Remy was great. Loved Remy. When am I back on the telly, Lollipop? Don't think I am. I've got nothing in the diary. I think the TV is done. I think the TV is done. There sometimes they have cows around here. There you go. I worked with a guy that said he went to school with you. I was probably an idiot to him. I wasn't very nice at school. Who was it, Rogers? Hey, Cassio. We're out here at Coombe Hill at the monument. What's this? Ah, oh, ah, okay. Well, this is, uh, can I switch this around? This is awkward. Thank you, Lars. I appreciate that. This is awkward. Hey, yay, yay. South Africa. This memorial was erected by public subscription, raised under a resolution proposed by the Lord Lieutenant and unanimously passed by the magistrates of the County of Buckingham in quarter sessions assembled in honour of the men of Bucks who, at the Empire's call, laid down their lives during the war in South Africa. Okay. Well, that is, uh, that is tricky. Is that, is that what I think it is? Is that a bad war? 
Is that a bad war? Who are your... Have I been to Temple Eat? No. Do I think Jonathan from Swansea will call in? I really hope he does. I wonder if it's part of his condition that he's not allowed to phone radio, you know, use social media. So, um, I don't know. Who are your faves on the radio growing up? I grew up in the UK. My faves were Alan Beswick, James Whale, James Reeve, Liverpool's Radio City. Um, for me, I would say it was uh, Clive Bull was a big big thing for me. Clive Bull, Tommy Boyd, those kind of people. Uh, Frank Glowski. Frank Glowski. Frank Glowski. Don't know him. Frank Glowski. Now there were some Polish kids. Frank. Don't know. I'm medicated with bipolar in between you and Brian Lemons. You make the days bearable. Hey, thank you, Stuart. Hang in there, brother. Um... If I, could, if I could gift you a sub on this app, I would, but I don't think I can. Um, we're back in Glasgow, Laura, uh, on the 1st of June, so just, just under two weeks. Sold out show, but I saw someone, I retweeted someone today who's got two tickets for sale, so go on Twitter and have a look. Uh, agreed, I've met and become good friends with a number of good people because of the show. Ian Kath, Late Night Alternative... And the many, many fans have got me through the past couple of difficult years. Well, bless you, Chris. Almost tweeted a work tweet from my personal account. I forgot my gym gear before work, so I have to go home and get it at five. Cheers, you. Clive Bull here on Ting. I'm, I'm really getting into my retro gaming. I'm loving it that I found a hobby. I found an actual hobby that I really enjoy. I'm really getting into it. The collecting... The playing, when things don't work, trying to get things to work. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. He's still in prison. He was recalled. Why? Tell me what happened, Roger. For all the love in the world, how do you feel Tony Slattery will do on stage with Whose Line? Who knows? Who knows? If money were no object, I'd tell him not to do it. I'd put him in rehab for two months, three months, get him cleaned up. Although if you saw his interview on this morning, that wasn't the same guy I spoke to. That was a sober guy. The med, I, you know, the meds are, are doing something to him, but that was a sober guy. Like you and Lego. I never got into Lego. But my boys loved it. They've kind of stopped loving it now. But I suspect they might get back into it at some point. Um, but I never really got into Lego. It wasn't really my kind of thing. Some model aeroplane people over there. Um, we're going to see. Ah, there it is. There it is. Is it Checkers is there? It's Checkers. That's Checkers. Hey, thank you, Matty. It's appreciated. Thank you, Matty. Welcome to the gang, Stuart. Literally within days of his release, release can only assume he breached his conditions. Ah, oh, Jonathan, man. Psycho Pussies 2, Mad Cat's Attack. Yep, I'm in that. I think I got paid quite well for that. Um, I don't really like doing those talking heads, but they paid quite well. So I did it. Um, so that's Checkers over there. That's where, that's where, it, all, where it all happens. That's where it all happens. Oh, it's a bench. Let's have a little sit down. It's a beautiful day. No, Tony's story. He didn't go out for five years and feel bad for him. He's such a nice guy. A blip, but you felt a bit down. Got the best fans. The best fans. Jerry spat with Talk Sport. No, what happened on Talk Sport? Did they ban him? Did they ban him? Here's the thing. No radio station is under any obligation 
to put anybody on here. It's not free speech. It's not none of that. No one's no one's under any obligation. Um, so if they've banned him, then they've banned him. You know, it sucks. Hang on, I'm confused. Loz, I did nearly a year ago. I have a lovely man. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, right, right. Dylan or Neil Young? Dylan. But I'm seeing both. And they'll both be terrible, so I'm sure. So, um... That's probably what happened. Listen, they're under no obligation to put him on. And if they didn't put him on because of his disability, that sucks. But I understand it. You know, but it sucks and it's unfair and it's it's um, disabledist and you know, not every show is going to be as open to uh, you know not every show is as patient, shall we say, as ours, which is a shame. I don't know. Radio, I'm going really going off radio at the moment. What else would I do though? I'm going off it now. Am I going off it because of the figures? Am I going off it because I've run out of ideas? All these things are possible. What did you make of the Danny Baker situation? Genuine gaffe. Yeah, I don't think it was right. It was a racist tweet. The tweet, the image, and the tweet was racist. There's no denying it. Was it subconscious? I don't think so. I don't think it was. I think it was a genuine gaffe. Write a book. Well, I, I wrote a third of a book. I wrote a third of a book. Good luck, fat bass, fat, fat, fat bass daddy's waiting for yodel. And I wrote a third of a book over like the past three or four years and no one's been interested in it. So, but then a few weeks ago, Will Storr got in touch and said, here's my literary agent, send him the book, see what he thinks. So I sent him the book and he wrote back saying, I liked it, but I don't think it's right. There's not enough of you in there. I would like more, but it's funny. So I'm going to meet him for coffee next week and we're going to talk about, um, uh, we're going to talk about uh, what I could do to make the book a little bit better, which is great, which I'm very, very excited about. Talk radio, Sunday nights is perfect shaking, I think. Part of, me, part of me thinks we jack in doing it Monday to Friday and we do the show Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Hey, Amy. Um, that's what I think. That's my nuclear option, which I'm going to be talking to my boss about next week. That, that our show would work better if I were doing it less nights a week. It would keep me fresher and sharper. And um, Hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's everyone saying? Hang on. What's everyone... Who said it in this day and age? Did I say it? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Real racism that wasn't the tweet and actually. What's going on? What's going on? Why are you arguing? What are you arguing for? Okay, everyone calm down. Chill out. Chill out. Okay. Maybe I'll just That's where we are. Checkers is behind those trees. There. Oh no, Checkers is there. We're not allowed to do, use Periscope in any form for some reason. Some view, huh? Look at the clouds moving across there. Isn't that stunning? moving across there. Beautiful. This is it, man. There's a fire going on over there. This is it, man. This oh, look, look, the model airplane. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Why can't you see it? Can you see a model aeroplane fly? There it, there it is.
remember uh, when if you got spotted on TV in the 70s and 80s, you go, hello, mum. No one does a hello, mum anymore. A kite for a hundred quid? No, 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 man. Get a cheap kite for a fiver. They're the best. They're the best. I had an expensive kite. Could never get it up in the air. And we got a cheap Thomas the Tank Engine kite. It flew all the time. Hello, mum. Thank you, fans. No one does that anymore. Desert Island Discets podcast. Oh, yeah, that could be cool. Well, we did Twitch the other night and it didn't really work. It was a bit boring. We might be able to sneak a Periscope love bomb in. Um, but would I work behind the cameras? What, catering and stuff? Sure, whatever. Have you ever bought a pair of Velcro shoes? What, to stick to the floor? Or do you mean like the Velcro strap? No. No. Could we Twitch the shows? No, we couldn't. Because I could make money out of, out of it and that is inappropriate. Ever hear from Id? He tweeted us a little while ago. We got involved in a little tweet thing. God, I feel fat. I feel fat. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Fat belly. Hate it. Hate it, man. Hate it. Hate it. What country, uh, country am I in, Jerry? I'm in, I'm in England, Great Britain, part of Europe. When's your next holiday and where are you going? Right. August. August. I'm taking the boys to Italy. There you go. Well, it made Nelly feel better about himself. There you go. See? Good. This is what I'm here for. Dad bod. I don't know, Matty. They're worried, they're worried about people swearing and stuff like that. So I don't know. Now I feel fat. I feel fat. Ah, at. Stuart Lee's always been very polite to me. The few times I've met him, that's all I can. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, I've said the C word on TV, on radio, is when you're about to read the word county or country, county or country, and then you stumble on, on, on the first syllable of country. <sighs> Just a fun. Of course you miss them laws, that's what we do, that's what we do. We miss our kids, I miss not living under the same roof as my kids. I don't mean to make anyone feel fat, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, bodies are weird, huh? Bodies are weird. I don't mean to make anyone feel fat. Have you ever bumped into a caller you've crossed swords with and had an interaction? I can't, I don't think so. No, don't worry, I was checking around to make sure no one could see. I'm not, uh... BBC doesn't have a dump button. None of the local radio stations, none of the national radio stations. I don't know why. There's no delay. So if you were to phone up a BBC radio station right now, BBC London, Three Counties, uh, Five Live, you could swear and they would have to be really quick to, they wouldn't be able to dump it. I used to feel guilty because I'm not with his dad. May I pray and ask you if you feel that sometimes too? I've not met your boy's dad, so I don't know. <laughs> Do I feel guilty? Um, I feel guilty about the marriage ending. I feel guilty about um, my part in the marriage ending. Um, but no, I don't feel guilty for not being with their mum. Is there any caller who hasn't called for a while? 
wish would? That's a good question. Let me think. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. You got a great body, Jerry. You got a great body. Yes, great. Fit as. Paul, uh, Paul, I've, I've got a dirty. It was, it was a guy called Paul. He phones in from time to time. Hello, Dave. How are we going to lose weight? The bloke who says, why do you hate me? That's Alistair. Alistair, um, we banned for being drunk and obnoxious. Um, he would get drunk a lot and would call us effing C's. But then on Saturday, or maybe it was Sunday, Saturday I think, he phoned us at the rabbit hole to say um, he had been sober for two weeks and was doing meetings and doing all the positive things and um, we said all right you, you can stay sober for another two weeks take it to a month you can start calling the radio show again boom oh blimey Lucy that's a that's a thing isn't it but, but, but that's a thing well I hope you're in a better place Right, I'm going to start losing weight. I'm going to start losing weight. No more chocolate. No more burgers. I'm going to go for a bike ride tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to. I'm going to take up swimming. All right, here we go. I'm going to join the local swimming pool. It's 200 quid for a year's membership. I'm going to do that. Not veggie, no, I haven't been veggie about four or five years. How long ago did I give up smoking? That would have been, um, that was 14 years ago in February. Move more and eat less, yep. I don't want any chocolate, I don't want any of that. That is that is gone, that is verboten. My weakness is, here's the thing, I'll tell you my weakness, right? Because I can't act out around um, drugs and alcohol and uh, or, or around S. Um, so now it's food, now it's bite, now my addictions manifest themselves in terms of, it's, it's a great, hey, let me show you the view. That's the view, that's where we are. And over there, that building over there is Checkers, where the Prime Minister hangs out. So, my addictions now come out in buying stuff. That's why I'm buying a lot of, you know, retro games and stuff on eBay and food. And here's the thing, I was driving to work yesterday and Kath was behind me and I pulled up to get some petrol. And then in the shop, I bought a pasty, two big bags of chocolates, Revels and then Maltesers. And I hid them from Kath's view. She was in the car behind hid them from Kath's view so that I could eat them without her knowing. That's nuts. Secretive. It's the same as when I was using other substances. I'm trying to treat this as a child-friendly stream that my seven and uh, nine-year-old boys could watch. The, the, the same deceptive behaviour as um, uh, when... They're not, they're not a healthy place. The same deceptive behaviour is when I was using other things. The lying, the covering up, the sneaking around, the deception. So, i got to stop that. Maybe I, I might start going to OA, Overeaters Anonymous. Maybe that's a way. Thank you, Sachiki. Hey, what time is it, guys? I haven't got a watch on. (sighs) 
Okay, so we've done nearly an hour. Yeah, I do recognise that behaviour, aren't I? Ellie. Chocolate time. Outrageous. <laughs> Chocolate time. That almost warrants a time out. I'm an, I, I do things, I do, you know, you all know what I do, you all know what I've done, you all know the shame I've got to carry around. Um, yeah, going to stream tomorrow, hopefully we'll be playing Sega Saturn tomorrow, that's the plan, that's the plan. We might do a little stream, um, oh yeah, we can do outdoors more often, I'm, I'm, this was kind of a test to see it worked. On a hyper, I spent over a thousand on Subutio Stadium fans, and all but once I had collected it, I gave up two weeks later, hit it down, and sold it all for £40. Pounds. I get that, Stuart. I get it. I get it. Why do you think of it as shame? Shame shame because of my eating, shame because of the stuff that I have done that, um, you know, that regular listeners to the show will know about. Um, uh, it's just shame. It's shame. It's shame. And I'm trying to turn that shame around, um, but it's hard to turn shame around. It's hard. Train out of London. Where are you going, Dave? Anywhere nice? Jacola. But you have to hit rock bottom to, you know, get back up. Otherwise you just keep falling down. I'm loving the outdoor stream. I'm going to go back and mow my lawn. That's a little bit of exercise. Then I'm going to sit in my hammock and I'm going to listen to podcasts all day. That's what I'm going to do. Then at five o'clock, quarter to five, I'm going to get in my car and drive to the new offices. I don't know where they are. And um, see if I can get in. When you lived in Highgate, did you like it? I only lived in Highgate for a year. We lived on, we lived in Tatford Towers. It was a three-story townhouse that um, Cooler Shaker lived in. Um, I can't remember, I, I know I, I drive past it sometimes, but I can't remember the name of the street, but I, I enjoyed that house a lot. My favorite house, I wish I'd bought it. Pods have I got lined up. I'm just listening to the Dreamcast Junkie pod. Dream, Dream pod a lot. Thank you, Loz, only if you feel up to it. Pass Slough. I do not know the Surrey area. Is that a euphemism? Can you stream in the new office? I don't know. We might try. We're starting there tonight. <laughs> How long before Paul Ross breaks the faders in the new studio? I cannot. We play with the faders a lot tonight. I cannot tell you how annoying not having faders has been for the past couple of years. Hey, wasn't Remy Nicole inspiring last night? Talking about art. Here's the thing, can I sound, no, this isn't pretentious because I mean it. I'm an artist, right? It's not pretentious because I'm not pretending to be anything. I mean it, I'm an artist. My radio show is art. This is kind of an affirmation for me. I'm your biggest fan, I think you're amazing. Says someone who's not subscribing. jokes. It's cool if you can't afford it. I'm an artist, right? And the show is not a phoning show. The show is not, um, you know, a, 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 it, it, it's, it's performance art. That's what it is. Affirmations. Um, and that whole thing I wish I had the money to you know, I wish I didn't have to pay a huge mortgage, which I can't really, which I can afford at the moment. And, um, you know, divorce payments, which, which I'm more than happy to pay. Not in any way, you know, that's my responsibility to pay for them and I'm very happy to do it. But I wish I didn't have those financial encumberments. I don't know if encumberments is a word, but you know what I mean. 
and that I could afford to make some kind of bolder decisions. I want to make some bolder decisions. And what Remy was saying about, you know, how she's got a few quid in the bank, so she doesn't have to do things. She doesn't have to touch the devil's doodah. You know, um, I don't mind touching the devil's doodah. You know, if it pays, it pays a couple of grand, I'll do it. Yeah, of course I will. I'm an artist. And our show, mine and Kath's show, is performance art. And maybe it's lost its... I mean, the last three weeks have been great. Three or four weeks have been great. The last number of shows since I had a breakdown on air have been great. That's right, I had a breakdown on air. Proper, real, genuine, gut-wrenching, humiliating, snotty breakdown on air. And do you know what? Do you know what? I'm glad it happened. It was humiliating, it was embarrassing, and some people... Some newspapers tried to make a story out of it, but you know what? Who cares, man? I did it, it happened, and it was real. Some listeners switched off. Who cares, man? Who cares? Ever thought about lecturing about radio at university or college? Yeah, I've done it. I've done it a couple of years ago. I offered my services for free, and I went to some primary schools, I went to some colleges, I went to some universities, and I gave free talks for free about working in radio and stuff all over the country. So yeah, did it. Tell us something we don't know about Kath. She smells nice. What did the bosses say about the, the breakdown? Uh, yeah, I got told off for it. I got told off for it. Um, I had to beg to be allowed back on the next night. Um, so, because they didn't want me to go on, I, they didn't want me to go on again, so I had to kind of beg for that, for that chance to prove myself. Oh, what a beautiful dog. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, the transcript book will be out when it comes out. It's taking a lot of work. Kath is going through it and spell checking it and doing all that kind of stuff. Got it all out, it cleared the decks. It certainly did. Right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna mow the lawn, exercise. Then I'm gonna get the hammock out, I'm gonna get a book. I'm gonna sit on the hammock. I'm gonna join the swimming pool and go for a swim tomorrow. And uh, then I'm gonna sit on the hammock all day, listening to podcasts, watching the cat. Sss, cat, sss. I'm out of breath walking up there. This is the, here we go, this is why I do these walks. This is the fattest and unfittest, Dan, you're a good man. This is the fattest and unfittest I'm ever gonna be, okay? So, no, you're not doing a live stream mowing for goodness sakes.